<laughs> I was worried you'd never wake up. You slept all the way from Canarthi's roost, right through the hurricane. Greetings. My benefactor wishes to speak to you about a matter that could affect the fate of our world. If my benefactor wished to discuss details in the open, why send a messenger? The matter is for your ears only. A passenger cabin in the interim suitor down at the docks. Do not tarry. Take you. I won't have those upland upstarts outselling me. Your price is met. Yeah. You're here to work metal. Yeah. You're here to work now? Fascinating application of the technique. I call this Shalador's legacy. Welcome. Are you here on Mage's Guild business? Yes, of course. We're law keepers across the face of Tamriel. Guild members seek out books, tomes, and ancient scrolls in their travels. Why don't you speak with me for a moment? Perhaps you'd like to join. Always good to speak with another knowledge seeker. Guildmaster Vanus will be pleased. We're book hunters of a sort. We seek out new information, capture it in our libraries, and make copies for distribution across Tamriel. The Guild doesn't care about battlefields or boundaries, just knowledge and the acquisition of new tomes. We provide training in unique spells and abilities only available to members. 
And from time to time, projects crop up for those with an adventuresome spirit. You may end up working with the Guildmaster himself. Excellent. You are now a student of the Mages Guild. Every book you find will now earn you reputation in the Guild. I suggest you begin by talking to Valast, our mistress of Incunabula. She often has tasks for new recruits. Good luck. You must be here to learn a craft, yes? Your alliance covers my considerable fees, allowing me to impart my knowledge at no cost to you. If you prove yourself, I'll certify you as competent to fulfill crafting writs. Crafting writs are daily requests for crafted goods. You must be a certified crafter to fulfill them. Prove you know what you're doing, and I'll certify you. I'm authorized to train and certify provisioners, alchemists, and enchanters. If this interests you, we should begin immediately. Good. We should begin while things are busy for neither of us. There is much more I can teach you. What else do you hope to learn from me? A provisioner condenses the essence of ingredients into food or drink. A true artist balances palate with nutrition. I can share this noble profession, but I can only certify one craft at a time. Understood? Provisioning is a rewarding yet grueling profession. Gruel, you see. I am capable of levity, on occasion. First you'll need a recipe and some ingredients. Then you shall roast a pig. Yes, I hope you don't think it beneath you. As bards learn lyrics before singing them, Provisioners must work from recipes. A recipe specifies volume, proportion, and preparation time. Understanding these principles is key. I keep an old rival's recipe nearby. Go, find and memorize it. Return to me when you have done so. Inter-evocative hermetic harmonic resonance we still use today was developed during the construction of the Crystal Tower. Roast pig is an easy recipe to learn, but difficult to master. Now, the moment of truth. Go to a cooking pot with your ingredients and follow the recipe. Return to me with the results, so your worth as a cook may be judged. Here you can see the third law of arcane pyrodynamics in action, class. I'm in them. Welcome to our hall. Are you familiar with the guild? The Fighters Guild. You should consider joining up. We have a new guildmaster and a new singular purpose. Why don't we talk for a moment? Excellent. I know we'll all be drawing blades together soon enough. Now, what can I tell you? Right. Our new guildmaster is an Argonian, sees all colors. She has us all hunting down the Daedra and their damned anchors. You might have seen them. Enormous chains, plagues of Daedra boil out to lay waste to the countryside. Hard fights. Ha! There's a good question. We train our members in special techniques, and the higher-ups are always looking for motivated members to help with special projects. You never know, you might be the next Yofnir. Then let me be the first to officially welcome you as an associate of the Fighters Guild. Get out there and take the fight to the Daedra. You're in luck, comrade. Sees all colors herself is here today. Why don't you go introduce yourself? Comrade, a word.
Bring me your culinary creation so I might inspect it. I'll determine whether or not you deserve certification. Hmm, interesting scent. Do I detect a hint of Wamasu? No, that can't be right. Not how I do it, of course, but interesting enough to pass certification. You may now fulfill provisioning writs. Keep your pots warm and your ladle clean. Your command of the and sons and daughters ride, ride to freedom, ride truth and glory to the brave. And when the battle it was joined, the lessons three to one. You are I know what you need. I drink. I hear the roads aren't safe. Good thing your package travels by sea.
Whoa there. Are you all right? The name's Lyris. I hope you've still got some fight left in you. You're going to need it. Dead. Must have been the runt of the litter. Keep your weapon ready and stay sharp. This place is full of surprises. Keep moving. There are more Daedra on the way. Don't stop now. Keep moving. More guards are on the way. Get out of here, my friend. The Prophet. Greetings, Vestit. Like you, I am a prisoner in this place. You must rescue me, and I, in turn, must rescue you. Hold a moment. Come here. The Prophet. He's a prisoner here, too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you, even for a moment. You must think you can help me. Break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. That blind old man is the only person alive who can help us get back home. Tamriel's a long way from here. These tunnels will eventually take us to the Towers of Eyes. That's where we'll find the Sentinels. Magical constructs created by Molag Bal to guide his vision in Cold Harbor. The Sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blinded. With any luck, that will buy us the time we need to free the Prophet. I've no idea. Brute force? We'll find a way. We have to. Be ready for anything. I doubt Molag Ball left the Sentinels unguarded. I'm sure you do. And I'll answer them as best I can. He's a strange one, no doubt about it. But he's the wisest man I've ever met. He sees things. The past, the future. You're obviously not in Tamriel anymore. Think of the most miserable, depressing place you've ever been in your life. That's paradise compared to Cold Harbor. And to top it off, well, there's no easy way to say it. You're dead. I don't know. Once we rescue the Prophet, he can tell you about the gods and the ways of oblivion. I don't understand any of it myself. A man named Menomarco. His worm cult is doing some kind of ritual back in Tamriel. They sacrificed you and everyone in this prison to the Daedric Prince Molag Bal. After you died, whatever was left showed up here. They call you the Soul Shriven. It means you're a slave and you'll spend the rest of eternity here in Cold Harbor, working under the lash of the Daedra. Unless, of course, you come with me. No, I wasn't sacrificed. The Prophet and I were brought here... conventionally, if that makes any sense. But we're prisoners here, same as you. We should keep moving. Well played, friend. Arcase Beard, you are good in a fight. A god of brutality knows of your escape. Hurry! The God of Schemes can see every part of Cold Harbor. We need to distract him. What was your name again? Target practice? Big mistake. Come get some more, you skeeving hawkers.
try to be inconspicuous. We've just got free of this place. The last thing we need is to get recaptured. I'll keep watch. Quickly, while he's blinded, we must get to the Prophet's cell. escape my realm. Kermamora's wagging tongue. The door's warded. We'll never get in this way. Damn it. Destroying the Sentinel must have triggered these wards. We'll need to find another way in. Maybe Cadwell can help us. Cadwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. After years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral. But not Cadwell. He was already insane before he left Tamriel. Mad as a box of frogs, but completely harmless. You'll see. Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. To him, Cold Harbor is a wondrous place. It's his home. And he knows it like the back of his hand. He's usually down by the river. Let's go find him. One fine day in the middle of the night, two dead kings got up Hello, what's this? Out for a stroll then? Lovely day for it. Sir Cadwell, yes indeed, a pleasure. And fair Lyris, good to see you, my dear. How are you then? Oh dear, oh dear, well that is inconvenient, isn't it? Tell you what, I happen to know another way in. Much more of a scenic route. Rather a fun little jaunt, actually, full of traps and corpses and nasty beasties filling up the bits in between. Rather cautiously, I expect. Watch your step, hold your nose, and do mind the traps. The like as not be a fair dose of running and skull bashing as well. Follow the river. You'll find the door to the Undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, stick to the light and you'll find a ladder that will take you right up to the Prophet straight away. Do give him my best. Best of luck. Do check in now and again, won't you? Cadwell seems to think this Undercroft is a delightful place. Probably means it's a death trap. You better be careful. God of self-punishment? been a fair fight, if there were three of you. should be just ahead. Quickly now, we haven't much time. All right, the 
good news is we made it here in one piece and the Prophet looks unharmed. Now the bad news. It's going to be up to you to keep him safe and get him back to Tamriel. I'm not going with... There's a trick to opening the cell. The only way for a prisoner to leave is for another living soul to take their place. I need to swap places with the Prophet. Believe me, I wish there was, but I don't see anyone else here with a beating heart, do you? If Molag Bal isn't stopped, he'll destroy everyone and everything we've ever loved. Once it's done, get moving. The Prophet will know where to go, but he'll need your eyes and your protection. the divines you are safe there is that at least there is sacrificed everything that we might go free her sacrifice must not be in vain i wish that were possible but i promise you once we escape cold harbor we will find a way to rescue her together vestige that is the name i have given you you are but a trace of your former self a soulless one an empty vessel that longs to be filled it is as the scrolls foretold, but not exactly as I imagined. That is what I've come to be called. My true name is lost even to me. Years of torment have taken their toll. Quickly now, we must make haste to the anchor. The anchors are Daedric machines of the darkest magic. Their chains bind our world and pull it towards Cold Harbor. I can use one of these anchors to return us to Tamriel, but you must lead me to it. Up the stairs, quickly! We must get to the anchor mooring! It can defy me. Futile. Soon your world will be in my chains. Come, I will protect you. A moment, vestige. The Dark Angus portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. But first, you must reattune yourself to Nan in order to regain your physical form. To do this, you will need a Sky Shard. A shard of ethereal magicka that carries the essence of Nan. Some link them to Lorcan, the missing god of creation. If you collect and absorb its power, it should restore your corporeal form. I will summon one of these shards for you to absorb. Shard of Aetherius, fall upon us now and anoint us with your blessing. There, quickly, collect the Sky Shard. Great Akatosh, Dragon God of Time, I require your strength. Let the way be opened. Let these wandering souls return home. Let the will of Molag Bal be denied. Let's go now! A 
As I feared, we arrived in different locations. I am in a city near the sea, in a land of eternal spring. The air smells of the ocean, and of markets and gardens. It matters not. You have awakened once again, and we must set you on your path. Days, weeks, I cannot tell. The voids between worlds disrupted all sense of time and space. I know only that you were deposited into the sea, and some charitable soul fished you out and brought you to dry land. I'm afraid you will have to decide that for yourself. I must focus on searching for a way to repay Lyris's bold sacrifice. I cannot simply abandon her to the wrath of Molog Ball. I cannot foresee that, not yet. But we will meet again. There is still much we need to accomplish. Be wary, Vestige. Our very plane of existence is in peril. The threat of Molog Ball looms across all Camryo, and chaos spreads in its shadow. Danger roams the land and will assume many forms. Do not let it catch you off guard. You must find your own path, but perhaps there is a reason for the place in which you find yourself. Explore, search for a cause to lend your hand. Join with others. You might even seek out those who rescued you from the sea. The choice is yours. 